In certain situations, you can use also to assign categories fulfilling many criteria the function sum ifs. And this is what we're going to talk about in this lecture. So please open a file attached to the lecture, which is called sum ifs for many criteria. As always, in the master sheet, you will find a table of content. Now, we have created a ranking of countries where, based on certain criteria, we give them points. So we've got points on GDP for competition level and then on the share of online. And we assign those categories using the VLOOKUP function. Now, what we will try to do is to assign the points for similarity. The problem is that we cannot do that straightforward with the VLOOKUP function because the points for similarity will consist of two criteria. So we've got distance and seasonality. And on the base of those two criteria, jointly, he will award points. So if the country is close, so distance is small from the head office and the seasonality is different, then we give four points. Then if the distance is low, but the seasonality is the same, we get 10 points and so on and so forth. So in other words, we have to consider those two things jointly. The data for them we've got in column K and L. And for this sort of things where we have two criteria and we uh, assign a category, which is a number. So in other words, we assign points here. A perfect solution is a sum if function. So let me show you how you can use it in practice in this sort of situation. So we first type in some ifs, you open the bracket, then you go to the sheet criteria. Here we've got the table. We first start by pointing what we're going to select, what we want to assign. In other words, our categories. In our case, the categories are the points. So this is what we first select. Now we have to point him to the first criteria that we will use to assign points. And this will be the distance. So we select the first column. He will ask us for the distance for specific observation. In our case, the observation is a country. For the time being, we're just going to type it distance. Then he asks us for the next criteria that we will use to assign points. In our case, it will be seasonality. So we select the second column in this table. And again, he asks us to point him to the distance for a specific country. And for the time being, we're just going to write down season. We close the bracket because we just have two criteria and we press enter. For typing, the formula does not work because we have not pointed him to the pieces of information that he will use to assign a specific number of points to a specific country. So in this row, for example, we have Spain, which is one of the country we consider. This has a standard seasonality and it has a low distance from the head office. Now what we want to do is simply replace this expression distance and season with the data for this specific country. And this is what we're going to do. So press F2 or go here to the formula. You erase the distance and instead of that, you point him to the distance for this specific country. So in other words, you point him to L5. Now we do exactly the same thing for the seasonality. So we erase that and we go to the cell K5 where we've got the seasonality for the Spain and we press enter. So as you can see, he has assigned 10 points. He has done that because we have a low distance and standard seasonality. If you go to the sheet criteria, you'll see that low distance and standard seasonality gives us 10 points. So we are almost done. The only thing we have to do is now to block the addresses to copy the formula. So we go back to the formula. You press F4 to block the first part. Again, F4. Then we go to the second element. We block it as well using F4. And the final third element we have to block as well. You press enter. And you've got a formula that you can copy to all countries. And this is what we have done. So we have assigned points using two criteria. So seasonality and distance using the sum ifs function. So please repeat that for the regions where we have to also assign points for similarity. Again, using the criteria we've done here. So to sum up, sum ifs function is a great for assigning categories that are numbers based on more than one criteria. Here we used two criteria, so distance and seasonality, but you can actually have much more criteria. Sum ifs is not limited in this case. The question is how to assign categories which are not numbers with many criteria. And actually we can also use for that sum ifs function as well. And this is what we're going to have a look at in the next case study, where I will show you how to assign segments to specific people using some ifs function. So let's move to the next case study.